design of a compressive member become more complex when it is subjected to by acid moment and undergoing compression at the same time. By axial moments means that the member is subjected to moment in the major and the minor axis. Therefore, in principle, the resistance provided by the axial load and the moment at the major axis and the moment in the minor axis are to be taken into consideration. Also, the effect of the buckling, flexural buckling, is to be considered as well as the lateral torsional buckling of the member also is to be considered. The summations of all these three components are to be less than 1.0. The member must pass both equations to be considered acceptable under such conditions. Also, the factor of safety are also integrated into the equations and there are different classes to be considered as well as different classes will affect the normal load and also the moment and the differential moment loads for class 1 to class 3 the data myed and nzeds are to be considered zero as for the class 4 the effect of eccentricity is considered in terms of the structures of the equations, the first component referring to the axial resistance, the second component is the resistance of moment in the major axis, and the third component is the resistance of the moment in the minor axis. The upper part represents the load, while the lower part represents the resistance. Same goes to the second equation. The upper part is for the loose, the lower part is for the resistance. The buckling resistance is referring to the axial load, while the lateral torsional buckling is referring to the major axis bending. There are also a series of factors here. These factors can be referred from Eurocop 3 part 1 in the annex A and B. There are two alternative methods to determine this factor KYY, KYZ, KZY and KZZ. To compute these imperfection factors, there will be another series of equations. And this series of equations have another series of equations for you to work out, for you to acquire the relevant values. You may refer to Annex A and Annex B given in the Eurocode. And because of all this, the calculations for the members become quite complicated. For the complexity of the analysis, manual calculations will become quite tedious. It is normally applicable for the computer simulations. As a designer, we can always try to avoid the biaxial bending on the compression members. Unless it is inevitable, then we will have to go through the entire analysis of the member.